Alright, this is my first video in quite a while. Well, I'm back to working on the motorcycle. It's uh, Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to everyone out there. It's a um, pretty chilly uh, minus 22 out there today. Pretty brisk. Uh, for those of you who aren't uh, living in a cold area or aren't familiar with uh, that kind of cold, that's uh, pretty much the temperature at which hell freezes over. So. It's pretty darn cold. So uh, yeah, just the other day I was uh, I was just walking around outside, strolling around, and my arm fell off. So <laughs> luckily I got it back on. So it's all good. And yeah, it's pretty pretty darn cold out there. No, one one funny thing I actually did see is um, at the mall a couple of days ago. It was, it was around minus twenty or so again, and and uh, it's it's so funny you can tell who's uh, uh, not from around town and who's from around town because uh, this one lady was walking into the into the mall and she was wearing like five jackets and just bundled up so tight and it was just so funny because she was wearing so much clothing that she couldn't even walk properly so it just, she just looked like a duck walking across the parking lot and I just almost died laughing so it was just that's pretty funny and everyone else is just wearing like just you know a winter jacket once it gets to minus 20, pretty much everyone around here is wearing a winter jacket, but you know, if, if it's like minus 10, then uh, you'll see a lot of people just wearing hoodies and stuff, or just a sweatshirt. But yeah, it's just one, one of those things that I thought was pretty darn funny. So yeah, I'm just working on the battery racks now, finally. And I haven't got too far yet, but um, this is kind of like the first little bit of it. And uh, so this, uh, I don't know if I can show you with one hand, maybe. So this kind of goes in just like this. So it fits right in between the frame rails there, it goes right to the bottom. And uh, I don't know if I, I can't really show you this with one hand, but uh, the reason why I end up choosing these batteries is because a block of four like this is uh, just the right width to fit in between those frame rails in the bottom. So it's absolutely perfect. And um, I just confirmed a few minutes ago that um, this is one thing I wasn't sure about because it's so tight, um, is that I can fit uh, three vertical stacks of the batteries. So there'll be a, a block of four here, a block of four here, and then coming up, I can actually fit three levels of batteries. So it, I can fit all the batteries in here without too much trouble. And it's really tight because even with um, just one inch in between each vertical stack and then uh, there's only probably two inches left or maybe three or four inches, no more than four inches for sure, between the top of the top batteries and the, and the tank. So it's really tight but they'll fit in there I think. So I'm just gonna make up these racks and then, so my general idea is that I'm gonna run um, six vertical aluminum these angle pieces or possibly some square and those will come up and then these um, these pieces running across they'll just I'll have a bunch of those running across for where the batteries sit so yeah pretty simple and it should be really light in the end and it should be plenty strong because I'm gonna hopefully tie it into a few spots in the frame here maybe even this big plate and, and it's gonna be bolted into the uh, this little stringer down here in various places too, I hope. So, yeah, it should be pretty strong in the end. And what else? Um, that's about it for now. Uh, once the batteries are mounted, it's everything's pretty straightforward. It's just wiring, wiring all the stuff up, and like for me, that's pretty much. Uh, I don't even really have to think about any of that stuff. It's really straightforward to me. So, um, yeah, maybe it'll take a couple days of. Uh, just relaxed uh, building to finish these racks and then uh, just a couple of days to wire it if I just take my sweet time so yeah this thing should be up and running soon and uh, get her going so uh, when I have more to tell I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll let you know